What the fuck is this? A PlayStation 2 controller? A PlayStation 3 controller? A PlayStation 6 controller? No! This, my friends, is a prototype PlayStation 3 controller. So I guess you could say it's like a love child between a PlayStation 2 controller and a PlayStation 3 controller. Do 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 do. Hey, what up, baby? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah! Oh. Holy crap, I'm sorry about that. So this was actually designed for the PlayStation 3 reference tool. Um, so the, they were basically the big ass rectangular boxes. Stupid cat. Uh, rectangular boxes that uh, I guess the early developers used before they were finalized uh, the uh, design and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and they're actually cut off to a certain firmer revision, so uh, beyond a certain point, you'd, even on those, you can't even use this thing. Uh, but the differences are, obviously, it's kind of like a PlayStation 2 controller, like it's got the uh, analog button there. I haven't had a chance to plug it into a reference tool, so I don't have one of those, so I'm not sure if that lights up or not. Um, but yeah, you can also see this extra thing right here. Uh, I'm assuming that has to do with the 6-axis controllers. Ashley Borman has a good video on this where he takes it apart and shows the insides of this. But uh, yeah, no, the 6-axis uh, motions uh, I guess are just all in there. This doesn't have uh, rumble, but uh, it does have the 6-axis stuff going on. Uh, there's the uh, uh, USB or mini USB plug for uh, plugging it in. And I'm assuming updating and all that sort of stuff. Some of these, there's actually something behind here. And I think there is another USB behind here. It is on some of them, but not all of them, anyway. Uh, some of them actually have a little board that sticks out, too, which is pretty cool. So another difference is the shoulder buttons. So it's more similar to the PlayStation 2 shoulder buttons, as in size and sort of that indent and all that sort of stuff. Because on the... Final version, it's smaller and it doesn't have that lip sort of thing right there, so it's just, you know, and it's a little more, actually it's a lot more pressy. This one's full on analog, where this is just a click. And this is what happens when you plug it in a computer. So as you can see, it registers in Steam as unregistered generic gamepad. Are you doing a narrative? Yes, I'm doing a narrative. Uh, if we go to calibrate here, um, it, <laughs> that's okay. If we go to calibrate here, oh my god, um, you can see that uh, the stick do do something here. <laughs> yeah, stick does does you know something, but uh, it's really fucked up. Like it's it's trying to always move on you. Oh, and it makes it pretty hard to do anything. See, now it always wants to scroll up, uh, unless I, like, hold left. Yeah, if I hold left, it's fine. There we go, just hold left. But yeah, it just always thinks that it's uh, going in a certain direction, so it, the reason for that is there's obviously no driver for this controller because it wasn't intended to be used on a computer. So, uh, yeah, that's about all you can uh, see on the computer end of things. I don't have a reference tool to show you what it would actually do in a working state, but even if I did, I'd have to have the right firmware, and it's, it's a pain in the ass to actually use the controller, so it's more of like a, just a collector's piece, I guess. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you next time.